，我们找我们要Every year on October 1st, people across China raise the flag in commemoration of the founding of the People's Republic of China. Joshua Wong has been trying to attend his local flag raising ceremony in Hong Kong for the past three years, but has not been allowed in by the authorities. This year, they finally let him in, but when the flag rose, he crossed his arms and turned his back. Hokkaido,其实,一家中央的做法,只是,会人来更多矛盾,或者挑起人民的怒火。
security forces try to avoid escalating the situation any more than it already is at this very tense moment. This protest movement has been spearheaded by university students, by teenagers who boycotted classes for a week to protest against new election regulations. And as their leaders were arrested in the dozens by police on Friday, this protest movement ballooned and has led to the scenes we've seen now with tear gas now breaking the truce here. We're now going to be enveloped in tear gas. In the Facebook page, it is called a silent majority, which is actually some kind of anti-occupy central, anti-umbrella revolution, the group in Hong Kong. They have evidence paying that $300 to pay for the tribe members to suppress the students in Admiralty, $200 in Hong Kong. This is the man who protesters have accused of beating them up. He's now saying that he's an innocent citizen, he's a good citizen. Why are you arresting me? Somebody said oh, he received 300 money, so somebody invited him to speak for the occupying centre. So you're saying that the protesters are being paid to occupy yeah. centre? That's really interesting. That's a young guy who keeps on trying to get under the barricades, who has accused the protesters of being paid to come here, which is exactly the accusation that the protesters have said against the anti-Occupy movement. Excuse me. I'm sure they are tribe members. As you know that they're wearing masks to attack the students, to incite our people with conscience to protect them. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. For us to the whole world yes. to tell the world that we are peaceful yes. people. Peaceful people. <laughs> shall be, shall be peaceful people. Oh, yeah. Yay. 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 Loudly. Now, uh, now we are in Wan Cha. We uh, we went from uh, Admiralty to Central and now to Wan Cha. Uh, everywhere is full of police and protesters. Protesters are trying to protect people still inside government headquarters area. We're asking for pop vote only, nothing more, and we are really peaceful. However, the government uh, will, will not hesitate to use pepper spray and every harmful armaments against peaceful protect, uh, protectors. As a Hong Konger, standing here in Wan Chai, I ask all of you from all over the world, please help us. Maybe all of you are born, from, born in democracy states. You are, you are born with democracy choices. You have free election right, but we don't. Please help us. Please spread the news to all over the world. Please voice out for us Hong Kongers, as we really need democracy. We need a pop phone only, nothing more. Please support us and spread this video or every news about this event to all over the world. Thank you. But the big question is, how are these protests playing the mainland of China. This is what Chinese viewers of CNBC saw during its recent coverage of the Hong Kong protests. On BBC Two, the screen went to black. <laughs> Chinese authorities are working to keep images of the protests in Hong Kong off TV on the mainland. So you just you just go to black? You just <laughs> people watching it are just like, oh. Mm, mm, mm. Now the protests have been notable not just for their size, but also for their tone. This is one of the most peaceful and polite 
mass protests I've ever covered. There's an enormous amount of housekeeping being done. These are extremely polite protesters. There were all these signs that were really, I thought, really kind of uh, cute and really told you about the Hong Kong protester. It would say something like, you know, fighting for democracy, um, uh, uh, you know, apologies for the inconvenience. <laughs> It seems Hong Kong may have left the British Empire, but we clearly left our manners behind. <laughs> We'd very much like to rise up against the great state of China, but certainly wouldn't want to cause a mess while we're doing it. Scrub it up, Dad. What, what? Greetings, world. We are anonymous. It has come to our attention that recent tactics used against peaceful protesters here in the United States have found their way to Hong Kong. To the protesters in Hong Kong, we have heard your plea for help. Take heart and take to your streets. You are not alone in this fight. Anonymous members all over the world stand with you and will help in your fight for democracy. To the Hong Kong police and any others that are called to the protest, we are watching you very closely and have already begun to wage war on you for your inhumane actions against your own citizens. If you continue to abuse, harass or harm protesters, we will continue to deface and take every web-based asset of your government offline. That is not a threat. It is a promise. Attacking protesters will result in releasing personal information of all of your government officials. We will seize all your databases and email pools and dump them on the internet. This is your first and only warning. The time has come for democracy for the citizens of Hong Kong. The line has been drawn in the sand. Operation Hong Kong Engaged. We are anonymous. We are a legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Government of Hong Kong, expect us.